so we seem to have a crack in the radiator. Let it cool off, put some water in it, go back and uh, we're gonna try to fix this. All right, so what I've done is I removed the hoses and the shroud. And I've seen this on other YouTube channels where they use a uh, soldering iron and they just basically do a plastic or uh, a plastic weld, you know, just melt over the crack and seal it up. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do. So I'm all done with my repair. As far as I know, I'm going to uh, refill the radiator, get it back up to operating temperature so it's pressurized and see if anything uh, starts leaking again. Alright, well there it is. It's been running for a good half hour. Took me down to uh, the canal because it's pretty sad. Our, our fisheries are really poor right now in the local river so you know, you come down to the canal you can catch better fish than you can in your local river. But getting back to the radiator, there are a few things that I would have done a little bit differently. Uh, first off, I wouldn't have bought the radiator patch kit from AutoZone. Uh, I had to sand down the radiator. I lost the whole crack. So I had to melt over uh, a fairly large area just to make sure that I got it. Uh, is this a permanent fix? You know, I'd, I'd rather just switch out the radiator. So I plan on doing it at the end of the week. Uh, but it's a good fix, it's cheap, uh, you know, and it get you by till payday. So, you know, you got a leak in your radiator, go ahead and give it a shot. You know, the worst that's going to happen is that it's not going to work for you, and you got to replace the radiator anyway. So, I uh, hope this helped. You guys take it easy.